Hello again, welcome to another review. This time it's come by the sort of buy candy toy sets. Uh, just for size comparison, the box is a cover by car lying on top. Uh, you get Kamado Kuga with this, the uh, police bike, uh, Kamado Kuga with the ancient thing I can't remember, and uh, them combined. You got the Ichigo on bike and Fifi Free with bike. Uh, <coughs> all these boxes are the same stuff on the front cover and the inside. There's number one and number five and so on for the numbers. Like so. <coughs> Again, the assembly instructions are inside the box, which forces you to rip it open. But these are simple, so simply assembled, that's fine. So, seeing a Kuga and him on the bike. Um, obviously, this is very nicely painted. The thing inside is not painted whatsoever. Uh, on the side, it tells you what other things you get. You got the Ichigo and V3 bike and other Kuga ones. And this is originally 200 yen each. On the top you got the logo and the little number on it, of course the colour red means it's the first one. And on the back you got a picture of all the bikes as they actually are with the stickers and choking hazard and all that. So just to show you the other ones, look that's the blue one for the number two, yellow for number three, number four is dark purple and number five is green. So yeah, let's move away from that. <coughs> Inside everything is in a little bag, like so, so the tape on top. Uh, there are small parts in the little bag that you gotta rip open. Uh, everything's in sort of a model thing. The white plastic is solid and the clear sort of rider plastic is soft and frankly feels quite sticky, probably due to old age. Um, yeah, the back is on the boss, no best before date. Great. Oh, cool, you can get this from 2001. Uh, there's a pack of candy I will not eat because it's probably gone off for years. And of course, each of them you get a little sticker sheet. Here's the uh, number one sticker sheet. Number one on the side, yay! And uh, <laughs> it's nicely printed. Uh, the Cougar logo is really high detailed. And gold is not so gold, it's more like a bronze colour. Just look at all the other stickers. Yeah, the sticker sheets, number two. Right there, uh, the logos are really nicely detailed, especially the uh, Ichigo uh, logo. The bike itself so finely print. But enough of these stickers. Let's look at the actual. Let's have a look at the the Kuga and the bike. Uh, all the riders are sort of clear plastic again, it's so sticky. Uh, the molding is, eh, uh, it's alright. It's not great. It's not bad. Uh, the bikes themselves are slightly thicker than what they would be, and underneath you've got some uh, sort of. Uh, one of those wheels that, you know, it's not a spring loaded one, it's like if you move on direction or keep moving in that direction for a while, it's like a momentum kind of thing. Uh, assembly is always quite easy, there's just that bit in the middle that's all identical in all five boxes, and the front rear that's also identical in all the boxes. And uh, well you've got the two big pieces of the bike, the riders are usually in three pieces, two arms and the body, and there's some little peg to peg them onto the bike, like so. And uh, yeah, uh, this piece is usually a separate piece of the handlebar, and you know, just in case this bike would fall over, not that it would, just a little stand that you can pull up. Yeah, pointless. Uh, so that's the Cougar one. Uh, you can see the plastic is kind of a creamy white, and even with the stickers well, assembled, it doesn't, you know, wouldn't look good. So, you know, uh, I'd suggest painting it yourself and get some marker pet well, gun the marker pet and make it look good. Let me see you have that well, shoe thing. Again, it's got the same mechanic underneath but a slightly different shape. But of course it is you know not bike shape, so it's gonna be flat, so look at it like that. Um the molding's really nice, in fact this is probably the best one because the shape's not completely altered and this would fit great with my Lego figures. Here's why I bought these. I'm gonna try to mod the bikes into uh, Legoable bikes. Uh, you have a standing cougar here, which is probably the best because it's like a transparent thing you get in Star Wars figures. Um, yeah, it looks good because he can actually stand up on his own. It's like a extra figurine thing that you have. But if I'm gonna stand him on the uh, thing, it looks a bit silly. But anywho, that's cougar again, and his horns are slightly. He's more proportionate than the one on the bike. Hmm. 
and as Kug again, uh, the mode is slightly different because he's sitting more upright and this is the bike with the uh, thing shoot again this thing is a lot more bulkier um, the molding is there, it's like one of those things um, if you choose to use stickers it'll look okay you lose some detail in the molding but if you choose to paint it it'll look super good Uh, and then you got the Ichigo but Ichigo's got his little antennas, they're really thin, but they don't feel like they're gonna snap off. Again the molding is it's okay. Uh, the bike is thicker than what it should be. Again, uh, not much to say. And then finally you got the free free bike, you got two extra pieces because it's got cannons on the bike. Yay, let's shoot people. Uh again, not much to say. The molding is fine. Everything's thicker than it is, although Fifi does look more flat than the other ones. It's got a wider chest. Uh, you can actually see this molding on the scars on the back and the little um, fold up on his neck. The armor's nicely molded. So, yeah. So, I got all of these five boxes for I think $50. That's about £4.50 or $8 US. So, for the value, they're really good. Um, or did I get them for cheaper? Oh, I can't remember. I got them from the uh, Causeway Bay Toy Sale Shop, which is a must go for toy collectors if they go to Hong Kong. And yeah, they're all wrapped together in a nice plastic sheet and um, without any tape, so you know they weren't damaged in any way, unlike the other Cougar set. So, uh, see you guys next time, and uh, check out the website, Facebook, and all that, and subscribe. And uh, oh, and check out my Silent Hill video mini series, Lego, like, oh, yay! Have a nice day, bye! Oh, and uh, I will paint these, so I'll take pictures for the end of the video as well.